Hello folks, Carlos here, I'm back with my beautiful purple mat. Uh, do you remember a couple of weeks ago I reviewed um, my very first uh, vape that uh, actually worked? Uh, as you know, as you may remember, I bought uh, um, a product from a company, a Latvian company called Air Smoke, the Supreme 650 and the Slim 180, and actually they were the first uh, uh, electronic cigarette which actually work uh, on a day-to-day -day base uh, till now, is uh, two months now. I bought a lot of uh, weird stuff from uh, Fast Tech in China, but at the end what is always in my pocket is the Supreme 650. Well, apparently uh, from Air Smoke they, they, they watched the review and they liked. And incredibly for uh, just a channel that has uh, three electronic cigarette review to date and just two at the time, they contacted me, they sent an email and said, hey, we like your uh, review. If we send uh, to you some uh, free stuff to review, would you uh, show them in your channel? I say, well, it was almost unbelievable. I said, yes, bring the, the goodies in and I'm happy to tell what is good and what is bad. And so here we go with the first vape mail for, uh, coming from Air Smoke. Uh, it arrived uh, yesterday. As you can see, I resisted. 24 hours without opening, to open it on camera, I don't know how I manage, but let's see what is inside. Okay. Ugh. I'm sorry for additional problem, but is the first packet I open on camera. Here we go. Let's see what's inside we have wow crystal uh, crystallic strawberry mango this uh, I got is a new line of uh, for at least for them I'm not familiar uh, you know that I'm not an expert with uh, this brand is zero nicotine uh, liquid you can learn a bit of Latvian from uh, from the package which is very difficult I think uh, I'm thinking that it will take at least uh, three more years before having a review in uh, in Latvian. And this is Crystal Grapes. I'm not really. I'm, I think I'm too young as a vapor to go with uh, zero nicotine liquids because uh, well, we are all here because of uh, nicotine addiction. But we, I will try for sure, and uh, at least for the taste. And maybe God knows is the the time I will. Uh, I will reduce my addiction. Ah, and this is uh, this is a uh, five uh, or uh, or six milliliter uh, uh, liquids made in France. This is uh, tiramisu produced by Liquideo. Liquideo. Uh, these are very popular actually here in Latvia, uh, Jews from France are uh, all over the place. There are also some uh, independent shops not related to the smoke that have a full line of uh, French uh, Jews. I don't know if I told you already but is, I'm Italian so actually it's like uh, making me review French wine. Of course probably the Italian Jews are better but just joking. This is tiramisu, which is a traditional uh, Italian dessert, which by the way I'm very good at it. One day I will make a video about me doing uh, tiramisu and uh, literally means in Italian lift me up. So it's probably a uh, very sweet, uh, sweet uh, coffee and uh, cream and biscuit uh, juice. Let's go with more juice. This is Indian. Indian if I have 6 milligram uh, milliliter uh, nicotine so it's very light probably is very good for uh, for more power of powerful uh, atomizer and clearomizer than I have this should be I guess uh, based on uh, tobacco while I will review every juice of course uh, I will do my own works and I will let you know exactly the setting the light a bit more to what I will let you know exactly what this fancy taste are like. This is my end. Uh, here we go. What we have here is burnt banana. Uh, this is actually probably one of my favorite. 
because uh, I bought from uh, the um, uh, Decang based and um, Airsmoke branded line of liquid uh, uh, the banana which is actually delicious I'm not really into sweet stuff but I like uh, very much uh, banana and that's it for the liquid no there's one more which is uh, Saint Germain dandy uh, Paris, this is always from uh, Liquideo uh, I don't remember uh, what is inside this, I, I, I'm sorry I, I will check and then there is some hardware and this is very interesting let me check the E-Silver 900, ah this cigarette I know very well because uh, actually I uh, I had some uh, some machination to have uh, a friend of mine having this for uh, Valentine's Day. Uh, it, this is a variable voltage uh, Ego style battery, which is uh, I, I tried from my friend is a good device, but we will test it later. Let's have more light. This is really, I think, the something I can easily fall in love. This is the iSig Mod Pocket Mini uh, one and 1050. Someone may recognize it. Yeah, it's also, it's also state one mini iStick and this gives already a uh, hint of where this product comes from N uh, let's open them all oh air smoke uh, friends card Draga card I guess I can get some discount of this out of this and this is the top of the line of the air smoke uh, offer is the iSig mod pocket uh, 2200 okay I think we can uh, we can already see uh, fil rouge to stay with the uh, French which uh, I guess I'm not sure for this but uh, these are uh, uh, very good product uh, originally manufactured by Elif Elif is trending at the moment I would recognize this as um, iStick uh, 20 watts this is the brand new iStick mini which is uh, well everybody loves it in, uh, in, uh, in the review that I saw and uh, well um, I don't like to open boxes and, uh, and tell out of the blue what I think about products, especially cigarettes, because I'm not that experienced to understand immediately pro and cons of, uh, of a product, but I cannot really resist about this. So, this is the plan. Uh, next week will be Easter and uh, yes, I will go back to Italy for, uh, for the holidays. I will bring these two with me and I will use in Italy as my daily vape when I'm back we will go deep on each of these and uh, I will have a really really detailed review also in comparison because these are somewhat uh, comparable product these are stuff for that takes uh, very little very little space are good for beginner and they are both variable voltage more or less same capacity uh, this can be a tough choice but before that, that we are talking about a schedule of uh, a schedule of two weeks I cannot leave you without opening this one because uh, the pocket mini 1050 or the iLeaf iStick as we want to mini as you want to call it is really one of the hottest pro uh, product in the market in these days and I really want to take a look of what is inside I should have grabbed a pair of scissors before open it but 
but bear with me, don't, don't run away. No cuts, everything. Oh, here we go. Uh, yep. Wow. You can't believe the size of this thing. Is tiny. Is so tiny that is unbelievable. And blue is is really 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 nice. Look at the size of this. Wow. Let's see what's in the box. We have uh, well, the 510 connector, which is useful because I don't have many tanks that works in uh, with the 510. USB cable, I don't think I need uh, to open it. It's just USB cable, something more. No, that's it. Okay, let's take a look of this. The weight is nothing. The size is uh, really, really amazing. It's, uh, it's a dwarf cigarette. It disappears in, uh, in your hand and I have a very small hand. And uh, yes, it's uh, a bit dirty. You see you have a uh, um, display, it's variable voltage. Uh, button to turn it on and uh, this I guess is to regulate the, the, the voltage. Let's have a look if there's battery inside. Wow, yes, is 100% battery I guess. Count the, the time of the puff and this is the voltage regulation. Display is beautiful. I don't know if uh, yes is uh, is white. If uh, last time I, I there was a, a LED on the X fire or E fire that was um, white, but on camera showed as blue. It goes up to five volts. There's no round robin, and if you go down, it goes. There's no if I keep it pressed does not. Yes, from 3.3 up to 5 volts. Uh, let's have a look at how it looks with the uh, clearomizer on top of it. This is, I think, a 19 millimeter diameter. Is of course uh, I clear. I clear um, 30s, and you can see is almost double size of the 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 mod itself is very comfortable in the end it's so big that is yeah difficult to see the probably no no to see the display so 3.5 volts nice there's no it's very simple it's basically a variable voltage uh, e-cigarette with a nice display that i don't think it uh, measure the resistance of the uh, clearomizer but in this case is, is written is 2.1 ohm let's see how it looks with a um, smaller uh, ego threaded Clearomizer. In this case, I have a Kangertech uh, ProTank Mini 3, which is empty and clean, so we can fill with the, some of this uh, this juice that they sent me. It's beautiful. This one, I mean, as a form factor, is uh, I think the perfect, perfect first vape. In the pocket, is uh, probably disappearing. And he has the pass-through that I said uh, is to me fundamental for uh, uh, the device that is uh, used for the first time. And uh, I am I'm already in love. This this uh, Air Smoke uh, Pocket Mini is beautiful, and I know that it probably if it works uh, in the same way as it looks, uh, it will be my my first uh, my first choice. Even even more than the biggest uh, uh, 2200. 
but uh, I guess I cannot just leave you like this for two weeks. Let's fill this tank with uh, some juice. I will try... Um, I'm very, very, very tempted by all of this. I will try the... Let's do something. Let's try the... Let's dare to go zero nicotine. And let's try one of the crystallic um, zero nicotine um, limited edition 2015 e-juice. God knows that I will leave it I will live for Italy without nicotine. Okay, let's go to the couch. Ah, is the other side. All right, it's a beautiful Friday evening. Time to go out. What to pick? This is so small, even with a big uh, clear miser, that is just, just amazing. The ergonomics of the Pocket Mod Mini is perfect. It's perfectly sized to fit in a hand, even uh, uh, quite small as mine. Well, the color is uh, blue but purplish, so it's just perfect for me, it's my favorite color. I love the display, which is very bright. Uh, and, uh, and uh, very nice you can see what you are doing while you are uh, you're vaping uh, battery life I have no idea I told you I will come back with uh, more information about uh, these products after I use it for at least one week in this case two because uh, will not be here for for a while size comparison with the Supreme 650 well uh, is almost the same size but the battery as you can see uh, is uh, much smaller and is much more convenient to put in a pocket of a jacket which I can find at the moment yes perfect disappeared this is the same actually it's not really really much of a difference but the uh, I, I really love the size I really love how it's built the where the control are positioned, I understand why people is getting crazy for this. Uh, I will try to vape first with uh, what I was vaping before. This is a uh, well, bad quality um, juice that I have is a peach from uh, Hansen. Just to have a comparison, I will uh, vape at uh, let's start at 4.3 volts. Good, good vapor for uh, well, for this uh, atomizer. Of course, we are not talking uh, going uh, sub on with uh, with this device. Is not what is intended for. Very good, very nice. I love it more than I like it. I I really dig it. The the f the factor is the form factor is uh, perfect. I will go again with something that uh, I know. This is actually my daily vape. I will uh, mount the Ego Thread uh, connector, which fits nicely on the, on the device, and I will use the my somewhat loved and eight uh, clear miser. I explain in the previous. Uh, review why I love it because it does not leak uh, it does not leak at all and is uh, solid as a rock I don't like it because uh, the airflow and the more I vape also alternative the more I find out how, how much is frustrating when you become accustomed to this uh, this kind of uh, attitude and, uh, and uh, way of uh, getting your nicotine the airflow is really really tight and as you remember the weeks I need to be soaked like this when it's not fully empty. The liquid is my daily uh, air smoke um, USA mix made by Deccan, which, sorry, I love it. Oh, let's turn a bit lower at least to start. I smoke at 3.7, sorry, I vape at 3.7 as. Uh, uh, two months still thinking about smoking. 
uh, 3.7 has the fixed voltage of the Ego style battery. Standard reaction. Never tried to use this uh, clearomizer on a um, variable voltage uh, battery actually because it usually is fixed on that battery because it's what I feel in the morning and bring with me for all the day. I will not pump it up too much. Let's go to 3.9 volts. So a bit. No, annoying. It's pretty much the same. Interesting. This 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 clear miser is in any case uh, really really good for beginner because I never had a dry heat. Okay, I remember all the time to soak the wicks, but is a uh, very resistant to over voltage of very long drop four volts. Mm. <sighs> Becoming sweeter. The taste is actually changing. And I'm, I'm sorry, you know how much I'm attached to the Ego Style Supreme, but I think uh, the, the, this will be the end for it. This, this device is just great. Phone part two. Good. Good. This is, uh, this, is, uh, this is the new Ego Battery. This will change uh, everything for the beginner, in my opinion, which is not very informed opinion you know but I also bring the first impression of the beginner okay let's do something a bit more uh, uh, a bit more uh, uncertain uh, keep in mind that reviewing a liquid means uh, to follow your taste I got the grape for uh, the crystallic uh, grape and I already smell it is too sweet for me, I guess. Plus it's zero nicotine. This is my first zero nicotine uh, juice that I'm trying. I filled up uh, my Protein 3 Mini, which is not really my favorite tank. It's not crazy about it, but I bought it and I tried it. And let's see how it goes. It smell too grapey and too, too sweet for my taste. Uh, let's go with the, let's start with 3.7 as standard ego style battery. Mm. Actually, it's not too bad. Is uh, it's very sweet, but not too much, and it's really really tastes like grape. Not bad. Not much vapor, but this is also the time that is not really, really, really strong in uh, vapor production. I will crank it up to four volts. Yeah, here comes the vapor. It's probably for volts is a bit too much. I got uh, it over. It tastes very natural to be to be sincere. Retro taste of strawberry. Uh, it's good. It's good. Not not my cup of tea, but is I would from from the smell I was thinking was uh, much worse. Not not bad. I don't know what I can do with this. Maybe vape chain vaping while watching TV because uh, what zero nicotine means really zero is pretty low. But not bad. Quite like it. Okay. Uh, let's try something else, or let's keep it for uh, next time. Mm. Okay, jump cut. I changed my mind. I decided that I want to try something more, which is the 
Indian e-juice from um, Liquideo is a X-Bud Tattoo series. This is 0.6 uh, milligram per milliliter of, uh, of juice. It's a French product. And I think I said during the unboxing that this is based on uh, uh, tobacco. Not sure, but I was thinking that for sure. Uh, I checked the website and this is not tobacco, this is beer. Beer e juice. I never tried that. beer e juice, so I clean my I clear 30S, I change the I change the coil and hopefully without doing disaster I will fill it. close it and let him soak for five minutes I'll be back okay I guess the the clearomizer is ready I checked the website while I was waiting the website from um, uh, air smoke and then the, the website of the producer of this uh, liquid uh, liquideo this uh, this series xbad tattoo is uh, called like that because it's created by Bud Coleman, which is a photographer and made in Paris. Never heard about Bud Coleman. He's a guy with each bird uh, full of tattoo, of course. But beer is interesting. The, uh, as I said, the smell is not very, very strong. Uh, it's a uh, 70-30 PG VG, so it should not be super thick smoke. But um, let's let's try. I don't know how it behaves, and I'm sorry if I didn't research first. But you know, I opened the box, the, the bag in front, of, the envelope in front of you. I will start with what? 3.9. The more I use this, and the more I think I cannot stand without without this because it's a, it's a really perfect, perfect size, perfect handling. week. Let's try it for uh, the website says uh, creamy beer and uh, uh, is definitely creamy but for a volt is still too low. Let's try it 4.2. Much better. It's very delicate. Uh, interesting. This need more time. Is uh, I think it's very difficult to to review juices, especially if you are not uh, experienced. You don't have any any meter to to compare. This I will like. Um, again, this is uh, something to smoke uh, in the couch, especially at this uh, concentration of nicotine, which is very low, especially for me that I just quit. Uh, it's pleasant, it's very pleasant, but it's not really something strong that uh, makes you scream in pleasure. I would call it a background juice, something that it melts. With the with the evening with the TV show maybe glass of wine or beer. In terms of beer, uh, I'm Italian living abroad. When I take a glass of wine or I a bottle of wine, everybody expecting me to be a sommelier to find the taste of nuts and bullshit and this stuff. I, I'm not I'm sorry, so I don't know exactly how to describe this taste. But beer, well, I love beer. I'm in the right country, love you guys most uh, as a concentration of most of the amazing uh, beer I found in my life they're very good uh, we, will, we will go back to this sooner or later I would say that is like the taste is really creamy more creamy than uh, beer I would say if uh, this word exists 
I would say that reminds me uh, the taste in your tongue of uh, the cream, the foam of a stout beer, which usually is the only thing that I like of a stout beer because I'm not crazy about stout. But do not expect a strong uh, taste of beer. I would say it's more cream with a slight, slight uh, aftertaste of beer. That is good. I would say this this one this one can be um, daily vape. I'm not totally sold with the, the grapes, even if it's good and tastes quite natural as a taste at least. Um, it remind me. Um, I don't know. Uh, sincerely speaking, how it's called in English. In Italian, we call it uva fragola, which is a, a kind of grapes that taste like uh, strawberry. Basically, actually, the taste is exactly like that. And we make uh, also uh, wine out of this. Uh, it's good for me that I don't like fruity and very sweet taste. Is uh, decent, vapable but it's not something that I can vape more than uh, once uh, in a while. This one... This one is a different, different uh, story. It's good, it's not something that blows your mind, but it's uh, much pleasant. Okay. Let's go back to the table for a final wrap up. Okay, let's wrap up this episode. First of all, big shout out to Air Smoke for uh, sending all these uh, goodies to review. Uh, it was really unexpected. I'm uh, really excited about it. In this uh, in this episode, I took a very first look to this beautiful device, which is the Air Smoke uh, Pocket Mini 1050. I tried it well, some of my liquid, but also the Crystal Leak uh, Zero Nicotine um, Grape Juice, which is uh, somewhat interesting, my first Zero Nicotine liquid. Uh, it's not too sweet, it actually tastes pretty good, uh, because it's not... Uh, it's not tasting much artificial is uh, the, the taste is is nice not my cup of tea then we move to this much more sophisticated juice the french uh, x bud series indian which tastes more like the cream of a nice stout is very low in, uh, in nicotine at least the one that is sent is sold in uh, the air smoke uh, uh, website which is just a six milligram per milliliter and i as you know i have a bunch of other juices and devices to test thanks to our smoke uh, I, I would love to start with uh, something uh, with and be more critic but this device specifically is uh, is uh, wow very 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 nice almost perfect uh, this is the plan this was just a first review I will use this device as daily vape for the rest of the week since I'm here in Latvia then as you know I will go for a while back in Italy and I will bring the pocket mini and the uh, silver 900 two devices that are more or less at the same level same range different style different uh, form factor which one will, is the best the ultimate uh, uh, beginner um, vaping device I will tell you when I'm back the week after Easter um, this review after Easter will be complete we break down this device in uh, term of of course uh, function I don't want to break them I want to use it uh, and we, uh, tr we I will try to explore every detail from the day-to-day -day use the battery capacity and last but not least the pricing from uh, for these uh, devices after uh, this maybe we will take a break because i have something else that i'm preparing for you some kind of crazy experiment i want to play with this device and uh, meanwhile i will uh, start to explore the the artillery 
and we will take a look. I didn't even open it to this. Oh, black, perfect. Black and purplish. This is much more purple than it looks on camera. My favorite color. I don't know how they they know. We go with the the pocket mod uh, 2200, which is uh, the air smoke version of the very uh, famous 20 watts eye stick from Elif. I don't think I, we will get surprises with this because it's a well established product, is traditional I would say, there is not uh, the um, brand new that is okay, coming out this day, uh, eye stick 30 watts which goes uh, which goes sub uh, ohm but these are consumer device you can buy them in uh, the uh, in the stand in the malls here in Riga at least so it's tough for the I would say casual user not, not for sure cloud chaser with uh, drippers and stuff so thank you again for watching if you like this video well give a thumbs up or share with your friend uh, see you in uh, two weeks I will tell you everything about this and the silver 900 and I hope to have some of my Italian smoking friend converted to electronic cigarette okay uh, so long see you in two weeks have a great holidays time bye